to let my daughter go. Hello, I'm John Rowland. For the past 35 years, I've co-anchored the 10 o'clock news on Fox 5 in New York City. And you know, every night before that program goes on the air, you hear an announcer say, it's 10 p.m., do you know where your children are? Well, we thought it was time to put that phrase into action and help find the missing children in this country. Do you know there are almost a million children missing in the United States? One of those children belongs to Michael Marin. His daughter, Rachel, is five years old now. Her mother, Claudia, kidnapped her three years ago. Michael has been looking for her ever since. I've sort of become an expert of sorts in finding missing children myself just by my one case. I'm just astonished at the lack of interagency communication or how local police departments can't get uh, you know, simple information from a, a neighboring state. It's certainly not in any child's best interest to be on the run and being hunted by the FBI. Another segment in our program involves an expert giving advice as to how to keep your child from getting kidnapped. Steve Davis is our expert. He was a New York City police officer. He is now a private investigator. The segment you just saw involves family abduction, which is not always preventable, but often very predictable. When it comes to child abduction, there are two basic strategies, prevention and speedy recovery. In each program, we will provide specific tips in dealing with all of these issues. The third segment of our program will involve the known sexual pervert on the loose. We'll profile him and put up an 800 number to call. And if there is a reward, we will offer that too. America's Most Precious will try not only to find missing children, but those who kidnapped them also. America's Most Precious, their time has come. Coming up on In Conversation with the Reverend Jesse Jackson, Voter's Choice. That if you're denying people an opportunity to participate, then you are really affecting the security of our country. If the right to a gun can be in the Constitution, the right to health care ought to be in the Constitution. So once we get shot, we can at least have the right to get fixed. Some side of us not much. Now, you promise now. Coming up next. <laughs> My name is Bernadine. You're about to see my trailer about a ghost I grew up with called La Llorona. La Llorona is real. Welcome to the cry. This is no shield at all. It's a magnet for trouble. We are forced at a moment of their greatest agony to start talking politics with them. The fact of the matter is, one bullet can do the same job as 10 bullets. When you get to the back side of this door, you will see that all of these rounds exited through the back of the door. This is the building right here in which Nicholas was killed in. Some cops are good, some cops are bad. You telling me every time I get locked up, I gotta worry about fucking broomsticks up my ass? Half of these fucking cops, man, they get out of work and they go to the dope spot. They get high after work. When you go to a domestic or something like that, this is a simple job and I can get through this. I think that they choose to go into this profession to make a difference. Get the camera out of here. Get out of the way. Get out. Get out. people get killed every day because of them motherfuckers. I have to say, guys, you're a hero for the day. You're a cop for you tonight. Now. Oh, 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 oh,